Welcome dear friends today we will discuss synthesis of phenylephrin this phenylephrin comes under the chapter sympathomimetic agents which are also known as adrenomimetics or adrenergic agonist in your examination question will be asked in this manner write synthesis iupac name mechanism and uses of phenylephrin so in that question you will write synthesis of phenylephrin and you will give iupac name mechanism and use of phenylephrine first we will discuss synthesis of phenylephrine starting material for the synthesis of phenylephrine is meta benzyloxy benzaldehyde this is the aldehyde group that is present on benzene this portion it is known as benzyl it is attached via oxygen so ether bridge is there this benzyloxy it is present on the meta position of this aldehyde group so it is known as meta benzyloxy benzaldehyde this compound is treated with bromoethyl acetate in the presence of zinc and in acidic condition so here bromo will be released and this remaining entire group will be attached on this carbon atom via this carbon so this carbon ch2 will be attached on this aldehyde carbon so there will be formation of alcohol and here ester is present so ch oh then ch2 c double o c2 h5 this type of reaction it is known as reformate sky reaction in the reformate sky reaction aldehyde or keto react in presence of zinc to give alcohol now this compound will be then treated with hydrazine so from this hydrazine hydrogen will be liberated and from this ester ethoxy will be liberated as ethanol and the entire molecule will be then converted into hydrazide here co then nh nh2 this is known as hydrazide remaining molecule will be the same this hydrazide will be then treated with nitrous acid hno2 so rearrangement reaction will be taken place this nh2 will be released this nitrogen will rearrange and will comes in between these two carbon so that will be converted into ch2 then n then carbon and oxygen nco nco that is known as cyanate so here rearrangement reaction occurs and hydrazide that will be converted into cyanate ch2 nco remaining molecule will be the same after this this cyanate will undergoes cyclization reaction and will be converted into oxazolidin derivative here this oxygen will attach at this carbon so this is oxygen that is attached with the keto carbon so these portion will be cyclized hydroxy oxygen will attach on this carbon so the formed ring it is known as oxazolidin so this molecule it is known as oxazolidin derivative remaining molecule is same after this this derivative will be then treated with methyl iodide in presence of sodium hydride sodium hydride it is metal hydride in presence of hydrochloric acid so here this ring will be broken this keto group will be released here ch then oxygen hydrogen will be attached so alcohol will be formed this keto has been removed here carbon is attached with ch2 here ch2 then nh nh and methyl group will attach on this nh so methyl group nh ch3 will formed at here and here this benzyl group this benzyl group will be substituted by hydrogen so hydroxy will be formed at the meta position and this benzyl group will be removed as benzyl chloride this is the benzyl chloride and the formed compound it is known as phenylephrine here three functional groups are present one is phenol this one is known as phenol this is alcohol and here amine is present so when we focus on the priority rule the phenol comes first so this compound is phenol here ethyl group is attached on the third position this is the first this one is second this one is third carbon so on the third carbon ethyl group is present 
on the ethyl this is the first carbon this one is second carbon when we give number 1 2 3 on the phenyl ring then on the ethyl group we have to give the different numbering that is 1 dash 2 dash so hydroxy that is present on 1 dash carbon here methyl amino that is present on 2 dash carbon this is 1 dash carbon this one is 2 dash carbon we will give name that is 3 on the third position what is present ethyl is present and on the ethyl 2 dash n methyl amino so 2 dash n methyl amino 1 dash hydroxy 1 dash hydroxy ethyl ethyl this we will write in the bracket and this one is known as phenol phenol this one is the iupac name of phenylephrin now mechanism of action phenylephrin it is the alpha 1 adrenergic agonist agent this phenylephrin activates alpha adrenergic receptor so this will cause a vasoconstriction and that will increase the drainage of the sinus cavity so whatever present in the nasal cavity its drainage will be increased by this phenylephrin this is the mechanism of action of phenylephrin and last one is the uses this phenylephrin it will give temporary relief of stuffy nose sinus and ear symptom that is caused by cold flu and allergies so this is all about phenylephrin its synthesis iupac name mechanism and use whenever question ask you have to mention all this thing in your examination prepare well we will meet again in the next lecture with another topic thank you for watching this video